like Councilmember Spencer. Uh, thank you, citizens, for coming out tonight. Um, my main concern um, in Orem is the future. I'm concerned about the utilities that we pay right now, our water, roads, and sewer, which are aging. So our utility fees are going to have to go up. It's inevitable. So my question is, if we're looking at the future, um, and Woodbury is going to put in $500 million, I don't know if I can really comprehend that, but $500 million for a property tax rebate um, on the additional value that they bring into the property, to me, that's a that's a win-win. Um, the question I have is: a lot of people have talked about utopia and the, and the mistake that was, um, and how the city or how we bonded for uh, sales tax with to pay for that. Um, also, Midtown Village. Now, my question to to Ryan is: what are we guaranteeing moving forward with the CDA? We are not guaranteeing anything because this money currently does not exist. So if Woodbury does not perform, there will not be any tax increment increase to be gathered in the returns of that. Okay, so um, are the citizens' property tax going to be raised because of the mall? No, they, there will be no tax rate increase. So it's basically on the little island, they're going to spend $500 million. Whatever the property tax increase is, they will get 75%, we get 25% with the other entities. So our base of 1.6 million will stay the same, so we'll have no difference in that property tax revenue. That's correct, the base will not change, it will continue on through. Okay, so the cost of the city is nothing. That's correct. The cost of the citizens is nothing. That's correct. Are we bonding for any money for this mall? There will be no bonding for any infrastructure improvements. Okay, so I, I um, you know, a gentleman talked about the risk and fairness, and if we're gambling with the citizens' money, um, I'm very, very, very conservative. But to me, mathematically, if they're putting in five hundred million dollars, and they want to, oh, also the question is, the money that is rebated on this property tax, what is that used for? Do we have specifics? That's correct. That money will be gathered by the county. It will then be returned to the city and to the redevelopment agency. Then the redevelopment agency will execute an agreement with the developer that specifies how that money will be spent. So you, as the redevelopment agency, will specify in the agreement how that money is spent. And that money is proposed to be spent on the infrastructure of utilities, the roadways. So that is not through tennis courts? That's correct. Okay. Or, or rent subsidies, nothing to do with the apartments. Because I mean, I, I definitely disagreed with the uh, sales tax um, that was given to Norsham's. I disagree with that 100%. This, in turn, is different than that. They are putting in the money to generate more property tax for the citizens of Warren, that so we don't have to raise your utility fees, or we can use that for our. What can we use the money for that comes in from the mall project? Uh, the money that comes in from the increased 25% gain with the income that the city offers and the city council to set. They were going to the general fund. So we can use that for roads, water, and sewer? Roads. Roads, public safety, parks, streets. Streets. Yeah, so, um, in, in my mind, we need, to, we need to draw more business into Orm. You know, Butera, um, Adobe, um, a task, exact where those are all major companies that left for them. We need to have a foundation so we don't lose any more businesses. So, uh, in my mind, uh, the CDA, I think, could be excellent for the city and also the citizens of Portland. Thank you. Thank you, Councilmember Spencer. <clears throat>